So I ordered some stickers from Mel. She's on Instagram, small art. I'm watching her vlog right now. And I ordered a print and this was the print I got and it's really cute. And she sent me loads of extra stickers, which is really sweet of her. I really appreciate it. Like, it's really sweet. And I stuck one on my front of my sketchbook. And she's got like some really nice tissue paper with her art on. I think it's from Nurshi, so I might have to check them out. And she also wrote me a really sweet note, so I've got that on the back of my sketchbook, so I remember it. But I want to stick on this sticker on the corner of my laptop because she's got one of my stickers on her water bottle, and I thought it was really sweet. So I want to have like a reminder on my laptop. So I'm going to do that now. I just finished another one of my drawings. I have to do 12, I think I've got one more left to do for me. So basically for this one, I used bubble wrap and just kind of like painted on it and stuck it down. And then I used red paint to create like the impression that is 3D. It, it doesn't look great on camera, but I really like, I really like how the pink and red looks together. I think it's one of my favorite color combinations. So it's like messy, but I guess that's part of it. Just so, I don't know. And I wanted to keep it like contained so it wasn't like the full page. And it looks quite interesting how the page is tidy. Like it's all interesting in the middle. And I'm just watching Start Up. I'm on the sixth episode. It's, it's very good so far. And it's, I hope it doesn't go downhill, but I have hope. So that's where I'm at today so far. Canvas rotate function. This rainbow, it's really pretty. London's 
think my hair is a bit on and off today. As you can see, but the rainbow makes up for it. I just finished all 12 drawings and posted my blog for my for my class tomorrow morning because we're gonna have a crit to talk about our favourite ones. And now I'm gonna have to reply to an email or a few emails about commissions and um just wanted to and then I think I'm gonna go to the shops to get some food and I'm gonna come back and watch a lecture that I missed on Friday because they recorded it so I can watch it. That's about um it's about how presenting and using the internet to look at to create like a professional presence. So I'm kinda of intrigued with that, I'm kinda of like excited to see what they say. everyone's Instagram profile to a certain extent does look kind of the same um, but where you are using Instagram as a professional platform to show your work think really really carefully about what goes next to what how much space is there between things around things next to things how much kind of full square images do you have compared to images which don't have backgrounds on which create some kind of sense of a different feeling or a different mood so this I think is a really nice example of that um, I'm an so I'm just watching the lecture and making notes it's all pre-recorded so it was from Friday so I'm just watching now and then I've got a lesson starting in 10 minutes so I'm gonna do that and then it's, it's almost my first critique but it's gonna be online so it's gonna be different and I think it's not gonna be like a proper critique where we <laughs> go hard into a piece of work it's just like giving advice and what they can do differently maybe so it's not like the typical art school crits that you see so i'll let you know how it goes in a critical way and it's essentially what we do when we give you feedback as tutors as well so when we give you feedback at the um when it, when you do your summative submissions so when you do your final submissions for the units not the projects we will give you creative critique eventually we follow a really different process. So how different to criticism? Criticism, for the sake of criticism, is often quite personal. It can be quite emotional. It can be quite destructive. It's sometimes vague, expert. That's a really important word here. It can be ignorant and it can be selfish. So criticism is a different thing. It's something that you would perhaps come across in um, your personal life more than in your professional life. So it's really important to make that decision because over the next few years, throughout the course and after you graduate, you will be experiencing a fair amount of creativity. And it's really... So I was just looking back at my critiques from my people. People, I've only got two comments so far because we've only just started. But people are so nice, like somebody said your first work is one of my favourite pieces on here and that it gives them contemplate vibes which makes me happy and someone else said they, they like the outcomes so I am pleased and I think we need to write on, our, write on our blogs about how we responded to the works and the critiques and how it went so I'm just going to do that So, also start using these words that you've created as a starting point for how you might write something which is a profile for you which if you think about about sections or uh, kind of like profile things on instagram or twitter or whatever those really really short descriptions that say 
X is a illustrator, an artist living in London and doing this. Those things always sound really, really simple, but they're actually probably really, really have taken quite a long time to write. And I think particularly those of you MA students um, who we were talking to yesterday, and we were talking about how you're trying to kind of sum up your, your thesis in this statement of intent. This is a really, really similar process. I spent some time updating my website today, and I put some gifts on the homepage, and they move and they look kind of cool. You can't really see this one, those, but I like how it looks. That's my homepage, and then I have some commission work on this page. And then this is this page will link on my Instagram, but it takes a while to refresh, so. I like how the homepage looks, I'm happy. I'm taking part in the Still Here, Still Life challenge for this week. You just draw the image, they, the photo they post, and then sometimes they reshare them. But I'm also watching Annabelle, Cat Creature, her newest full video. But I'll keep you updated with this because it's been so far. I'm excited. For as many as like four hours, so it just doesn't make it possible for me to get to video editing so by October I only posted twice. That's why my shop was also a little bit postponed again. Except I'm really close, the only thing I'm missing is photographs. Thank you to hundreds of people that subscribe to email notifications. I made uncomfortable eye contact with a lady and her store was like, I was at just imagine walking by and this girl sitting in a chair like talking to herself. You know what I I've always enjoyed cute marketing emails and thought like, oh, one day I want to design, design like notifications. This whole journey this summer has been realizing when you're one person doing everything, one, it really helps to take the occasional aid from your mom, your sister, your friend who offers, Tyler. It can't be, it couldn't be possible without them. On one hand, I don't feel like it's just me doing this, but the daily task and then all of the management is one person, so I have to kind of humble myself and realize things take time if you want it to be done as well. When I'm stressed out and feeling like I'm not productive, I think I'm being... Sorry, I altered the colours a bit, and I haven't added shadows, I can't decide whether I should or not, because I kind of like the flat. I'm going to add the colour layer because it alters the colours to make it more witch, which I like, but I'm kind of pleased with it. It's different from the stuff I normally do, but I like the squibbly effect for it, so I think I'll post this and tag them in it. Yay! Okay, I actually added some shadows with the dot brush and then I added some faces in because I thought it made it more fun to make a look for the faces. But yeah, I'm happy with the overall thing. It was a fun challenge. So art I ordered from Marina Fear from Nightmares on Instagram and Twitter. She arrived and I got this like BTS print from the HYYH era because I thought that would look really cute because I like the pink and I always loved that era so much and then I got an original piece of art from her too because I loved this except for it's <laughs> it got in, in the post very sad that's fine I'll just like flatten up the books and then I ordered a I ordered a Sailor Moon sticker I think it's Neptune Sailor Neptune but like I love the colours so red and the, the green look really nice together I have the Sailor Moon one on my laptop my old laptop as well and then i also got these stickers from this website called poiko they got advertised on instagram advert for me to me but i really just love the like abstract shapes and colors so they're really nice i'm gonna like stick them on the back of my laptop like on here because i think it would look cute having them more like abstract stuck around so i'll show you guys when i've done that but like i'm excited they look pretty Yay. so this is what i came up with at least i've only got a few left but like i really like the colors and how they look and when you have the open, and it's kind of nice, you know, just simple.
So this is my outfit for today. I've got cherry earrings in. I really like them. I've got a red sweater vest. And then I've got strawberry socks to match because I haven't got any cherry socks. Well, I like it. I like the colours. text, um, this database is filled with journals, dissertations, um, so that's a pretty cute, it's a very, very good database. Okay, so I'm going to show you, okay, I'm going to go back, go back to So I just finished the Queen's Gambit, so then I did some sketches from some of the scenes and now I'm drawing one to shoot for me. So I'm probably going to take this idea and then just draw it more fully. I'll add some chess pieces and like a chessboard maybe into the background. I think that'll be good. I'm currently watching Shy Barton because I haven't caught up in her videos for a while, but it's really nice. I will get back to you guys when I finish this. to get some ramen from my flatmate because she's self-isolating and she wanted some so I bought her a pack of five but I finished the drawing let me show you so this was the final thing I was quite happy with it because I managed to make it warm toned so like because quite the show was kind of cool toned and like black and white because of chess but I managed to like pull it together and make it warm toned and then I did this piece just so like when I posted it to Twitter you could see the full image next to each other 
and it always goes otherwise twitter crops it to be like that and when people scroll they don't see the full image so i am pleased with that i am my post said that today i have another drawing prepared for tomorrow already but yeah i just realized i never showed you guys where i put the new prints so i've got one there and then i put the other one up there and then like how they look i'm so happy with them they're cute I really love this.